Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and in this circuit at time t is equal to 0, this switch is closed. Now here we have been given that initially the voltage across the capacitor is equal to minus 5 volt. So here we have been asked to find the time after which the voltage across the capacitor will become 0. So here we have been given that the initial voltage across the capacitor is equal to minus 5 volt. That means before this switch is closed, then at time t is equal to Vc of 0 minus, the voltage across the capacitor is equal to minus 5 volt. Now we know that the capacitor opposes the instantaneous change in the voltage. That means once the switch is closed, then at time t is equal to 0 plus also, the voltage across the capacitor will remain the same. That means once the switch is closed, then at time t is equal to 0 plus or this Vc of 0 plus is same as the Vc of 0 minus that is equal to minus 5 volt. Similarly, let us find the voltage across the capacitor at t is equal to infinite. So we know that in a steady state condition, this capacitor acts as an open circuit. So this open circuit voltage is the voltage across the capacitor at time t is equal to infinity and therefore this voltage will be equal to Vc of infinity. For simplicity, let's say this voltage is equal to Va. So now, to find this voltage Va, let us apply the KCL at this node. So applying the KCL, we can write this voltage Va divided by 250 ohm, that is this current, plus Vr divided by 500 ohm, that is equal to phi minus Va divided by 250 ohm and here this voltage Vr is equal to phi minus Va. So from this we can write this Va divided by 250 ohm plus phi minus Va divided by 500 ohm plus Va minus 5 divided by 250 ohm that is equal to 0 or we can say that this 2 times Va plus phi minus Va plus 2 Va minus 10 that is equal to 0 and if we further simplify this expression then this 3 Va is equal to 5 that means we can say that this voltage Va is equal to 5 by 3 volt that means this voltage Vc of infinity is equal to 5 by 3 volt and we already know this Vc of 0 plus is equal to minus 5 volt. So with the help of it, we can write the general expression of the capacitor that is Vc of t is equal to Vc of infinity plus Vc of 0 minus Vc of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by Rc. So here we already know the value of this Vc of infinity and Vc of 0 plus. So here now we need to find the value of this RC time constant. So in this expression, the C is the value of the capacitor and this R is the equivalent resistance which is seen through the capacitor. Or we can say that this is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance which is seen through the capacitor. So here, since the circuit contains both independent as well as the dependent sources, so what we will do, first of all we will find the open circuit voltage across these two terminals. and then. We will short these two terminals and we will find the short circuit current. So the ratio of this open circuit voltage to the short circuit current will give us the Thevenin's equivalent resistance which is seen through these two terminals. Or in this case, that will be the R equivalent. So earlier, while finding the Vc of infinity, we have already found the open circuit voltage. That means here, this open circuit voltage is equal to 5 by 3 volt. So now, the only thing which we need to find is this short circuit current. So let us find this short circuit current and with the help of it, let us find the equivalent resistance. Now once we short these two terminals, then this 250 ohm resistor will also get short circuited. And now if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So here, we need to find this short circuit current. And to find that, let us apply the KCL at this node.
Now in this circuit, if we consider this node as the reference node, then this node over here will also be at the zero volt. So if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can write this phi minus zero divided by 250 ohm, that is this current is equal to this VR divided by finite ohm plus short circuit current. And in this case, if you see, then this phi minus VR is equal to zero, or we can say that this VR is equal to phi volt. So from this, we can say that this phi divided by 250 ohm, that is equal to phi divided by finite ohm plus ISC. Or we can say that this phi divided by finite ohm is equal to short circuit current. That means this short circuit current is equal to 0 0.01 ampere. So in this way, we found the value of this short circuit current. So now this Thevenin sequence resistance, which is seen through these two terminals of the capacitor is equal to this open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current that is equal to 5 by 3 volt divided by 0 0.01 ampere that is equal to 500 divided by 3 ohm. So this will be the value of the equivalent resistance which is seen through these two terminals. So in this way we found the value of the R equivalent. So now this RC time constant is equal to this R equivalent times C that is equal to 500 divided by 3 ohm times 0.6 microfarad that is equal to 500 times 0.2 microfarad or we can say that it is equal to 100 microfarad that is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 farad so now let us write the expression of the vc of t once again that means now this vc of t is equal to vc of infinity plus vc of 0 minus vc of infinity times e to the power minus t divided by this r equivalent times c so we know that this vc of infinity is equal to 5 by 3 volt and this vc of 0 plus is equal to minus 5 volt that means this vc of t is equal to 5 by 3 volt plus minus 5 volt minus 5 by 3 times e to the power minus t divided by 10 to the power minus 4 or we can say that this vc of t is equal to 5 by 3 minus 20 divided by 3 times e to the power minus 10,000 t. Now we need to find the time t such that this vc of t is equal to 0. So in this expression, let us put the value of vc of t as 0 and let us find this t. That means 0 is equal to 5 by 3 minus 20 divided by 3 times e to the power minus 10 to the power 4 times t. That is equal to minus 5 by 3 is equal to minus 20 divided by 3 times e to the power minus 10 to the power 4 times t. So we can say that this 5 divided by 20 is equal to e to the power minus 10 to the power 4 times t. So if we take the natural log on both sides, then this ln of 4 is equal to 10 to the power 4 times t. That means this t is equal to 1.3863 divided by 10 to the power 4. Or we can say that this time t is equal to 0.1386 millisecond. So after this time, the voltage across the capacitor will become 0. That means for the given question, the time t is equal to 0.1386 millisecond.